Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this lecture we are going to learn about DHCP IP helper address. Alright, on the previous lecture we have learned how to configure the DHCP on the Cisco routers. So today I am going to tell you how to configure the IP helper address. Okay. So, so let us configure the IP address on the interface of the routers. Okay, so I am going to configure, I am going to give this IP address on this network and 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network on this 24 subnet on this network and 172.168.20.0 slash 24 subnet address on this network. Alright, so let's quickly configure the IP address. CLI. the DSCP on router 1 ok on router 0 I'm going to configure I'm going to make the router 0 as the DSCP server okay, so that both the network will face the IP address from the DSCP server only ok this network will face the IP address dynamically from the DSCP server from the DCP server and this network also Fast the IP address dynamically from this D from this DHCP server. All right, we are not making two different DHCP server. That is, on this router we are, we are not okay. That is, we are not making DHCP server on both the routers. This router and this router. Okay, so we, we so for this purpose, if this network wants to fast the IP address dynamically from the distance router that is remote router that is not directly connected router all right so for that condition we are in need for the term ip helper address okay so we are going to configure the ip helper address on this router so that the ip address from the dhcp server will be provided to this users all right so let's configure the ip address sorry the acp server for both the networks so i'll write for this network at first i'm going to configure the dhcp server for this network so ip the command is really simple ip dhcp push and 
then the name of the pool that is network zone all right and then what is the network for which we are going to configure we are going to give the ip address that is we are going to create the pool of ip address at network connected to our network that is 192.68.10.0 network all right subnet mask okay so ip parameters like what are the ip parameters okay default gateway that is default router 9.9.9 as you like and then add it. so we have created the DCP pool for one network that is this network so let's quickly configure the DCP server for this network too alright so IP DCP pool Cisco I'm going to give name Cisco for the pool okay and network that is 172.168.20.0 that is this network right 168.20.0 and then default router that is 172.168.20.1 right this is our default gateway that is the IP address of this interface right this will be the default gateway for this network right so what are different or next parameter that is DNS server alright so we are done with the DCP server so let's configure the IP helper address on this network on this interface so that the request will be sent to this network alright to this router to this DCP server so I am going to configure IP helper address on this interface because the request will be at first will go on this interface only right so router will fetch the request from this network and it will forward that request to this DCP server okay with the help of IP helper address this network will be able to fetch the IP, IP address and its parameter from its DCP server alright so let's configure the IP helper address on this interface first standard 0 slash 1 that is interface <coughs> first and then zero slash one IP IP helper address that is IP helper address and then request will be forwarded to this interface that is this interface first Ethernet zero slash zero of the router zero right ten dot ten dot, ten dot one because this packet this request will be sent to this router on this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that is directly connected to it okay this <coughs> dcp server is directly connected to this router one with this link so we are going to give ip address that is destination ip address of this router okay this interface Okay, so we are done so this is the simply command of IP helper address so let's configure the uh, routing information protocol on both the routers so that both the routers will know about each other's network all right so I'm going to configure RIP okay that we have already studied so router RIP version 2 sorry version 2 that is I connected to it or to standard and or zero okay this is the network that is on the router one interface all right and next network is network 172.168.20.0 all right so these are the networks that is connected to router one okay that okay so not so with this so let's configure the rip on this router also so 
the command is router weight network via rig all right it took i think almost 30 seconds to advertise the network so let's see this route okay we have got 10.0 network at this this network okay so let's face the ip parameters for the users via dscp okay see we have got the ip parameters all right like on like in previous example we have done okay it is also done right this PC also has got IP and its parameters okay so let's see about this PC either it will able to fetch the IP address from the DCP server or not see it has fetched the IP address from the DSCP server okay though it is not directly connected to this DSCP server but with the term IP helper address we are able to fetch the IP address dynamically from the DSCP server alright so it's really simple just we must need to know about the command IP helper address that must be configured on on the interface first and the slash one that okay and that's all so I I guess you easily understood how to configure the DCP server okay and what and the term IP helper address okay so that's all for today thank you so much for watching see you soon on my next lecture goodbye take care